straight facts and the data, you know, without having to make a, a website that was biased or, you know, full of ads or anything like that. So, I mean, you can, like, go on a phone and just instantly see, the, like, the quick facts. You can see the total amount of cases, the total deaths, and, you know, all that kind of information. And you can get that for individual countries and now U.S. states, too, and, and all kinds of things. So I, I didn't want to make it hard. You know, you shouldn't have to go through government websites um, and download, like, a daily PDF that's probably out of date by the time you read it. And, you know, have to go through all kinds of complicated things just to see, you know, the straight facts. So... That was but the main reason why how did you you know, know, I wanted to make this website. How did you know what the Trump administration didn't know? We're talking about last December. I mean, no one was talking about this yeah. in the United States. Yes, this was a terrible crisis in China. What first sparked your interest to do this? Yeah, so, I mean, when I started this website, there was less than, like, a thousand total cases, and they were all just in, like, the Wuhan area of China. So I, I saw this uh, on the news, kind of, um, a long time ago, and I noticed that it was really hard just to, to find the information, and there was a lot of just misinformation spreading. So I decided it would be kind of cool to create a website and to just kind of make it, like, a, a central hub of information.